The Pagani story is just an amazing story. Horatio Pagani, an Argentinian gentleman, passionate about cars. All his life, he just worked to build this ultimate sports car. He was known to Juan Fangio, uh, who introduced him to Mercedes and instructed Mercedes to assist him to build his car. Uh, and with his background in carbon fiber and with Lamborghini, he set about building what he felt was the ultimate sports car. So when it comes to ordering a Pagani, it's a, it's a fantastic experience because it's not like going down to a local dealer and, and getting a brochure and looking through the options. They're handmade and they're made for you. You can pretty much choose anything you want. I want the bodywork in raw carbon fibre, I want it painted this colour, I want this bit painted, not that bit painted. Whilst he's built his dream car, you can pretty much spec and build what you believe is your dream car. You'd be surprised to know that there is one Pagani Zonda in Australia. I've been fortunate enough to get the Zonda out at a number of tracks around Australia. That's where you can really unleash it and enjoy the full power. It's definitely set up as a road car, it's a grand tour, it's not a race car, but it gets around nicely. Horatio Pagani is an amazing man. He is passion personified. The amount of time that he spent on every single component, making it not only functional but also artistic. The carbon quality and the weave, they are they're so perfect and so precise that they throw away three bodies for everyone that's good enough to actually be given to a customer. To open the car up, uh, you've got to open both doors. It's got these fabulous little leather straps, which are secondary. You open them and then push the button. That opens the nose. So the front uh, is, is really quite simple. It's just a couple of radiators and, and the roof is housed in here. The interior just abounds with detail. Down here we've got uh, adjusters for the squab on the seat. They twist those knobs and the seat rolls up and down. Beautiful instrument set and just wonderful switching. You know, really a little bit old fashioned, but, but just wonderful. These are the air conditioning ducts, which are adjustable and when they, uh, when they all ice up, you see the condensation forming on them, which is just really cute. Because you're in a convertible, you still want to enjoy your music, so we've got a great speaker in the door here and another one here right behind your head. And uh, it's, it's a speed dependent volume as well, so the faster you go, the louder it goes and it doesn't matter what speed you're doing, you can, you can still hear your music. So this is how you get into the engine compartment. You lift up this lovely little leather strap. And this is a, a true work of art. Now here we've got the 7.3 litre V12 uh, Mercedes engine. Uh, this engine's built for Pagani uh, by AMG. Nobody else gets to use this engine. 680 odd horsepower. Uh, an absolutely fabulous engine, very unstressed at about 7,000 revs, which is uh, the red line. The suspension's fully adjustable, but uh, to be perfectly honest, in nine years I've never touched it once. Somehow, the engineering on this car, they've managed to make it quite comfortable and, and soft, but sticks to the road like glue. The car runs 19-inch wheels, front and rear, and the, uh, the, the rear tyres are 3, 4, 5, 30, 19, so you need a lot of rubber. These are the luggage compartments. So each side has got one of these. So depending on the trim that you choose for your car, the, uh, the, the luggage is all matching. It's not the sort of car that you sneak around in. No matter where you go, it, it draws a crowd and, and, and people do love the car. Even today, we were going down the road and a highway patrol car was going the other way and he flicked his lights on, turned around and whizzed after me down the road. Pulled me over, had a look at the car, exchanged pleasantries and gave me an RBT for good measure. The Pagani is really incredible to drive. Uh, it, it, it is a supercar, obviously, but it's not super difficult to drive. 
and a lot of fancy other cars that I've driven uh, can be challenging. The Zonda really is that easy to drive. 